What's good Australia guys today I'm riding my mostly souped up giant trends actually matter of fact it's super souped up because I got a Fox 36 factory Kashima fit for a damper DVO Topaz 2 air shock on fully open SRAM Eagle NX it's really good no complaints so far for two months it's working like a charm better than the Dior that he has originally this bike this is a 2019 trend and uh, now it's 2021 after all this upgrades including the Shimano SLX four piston brake in the a, in a, in a rear front brakes are the same as the stock with all these upgrades and also the tires Maxxis Asagai 2.5 Maxxis DHR Minion DHR 2 2.4 I think I believe or 2.5 I forgot doesn't matter but point being this bike runs and feels like a 4000 Trek Remedy or more matter of fact I have ridden the Trek Remedy Juan's bike, my boy Juan from the channel on a BC. Before he upgraded his bike, I rode his bike and it feels equally as steady on the downhills, easy as on the climbs. Like, if you want to get a better bike than this at this point, I better spend $7,000 for some Yeti souped up stuff or some of this high end pivots. Because if you want to get a $3,000 bike or even a $4,000 bike at this point, it ain't gonna beat this bike right now with all the upgrades. So. Let's put it through the test, POV shot with a GoPro Hero 9. Descend down this mountains behind me, there's a downhill. This is the front view, the, fr the cold front. Actually a little breezy over here. Hey, what's good, what's really good guys? It's your boy Urban Dropper. I'm gonna descend these trails, this beautiful view over here in Northwest New Jersey, AKA New York. Well, that's the border of New Jersey and New York. It's actually, this place is located in New York, the state, but it's the most Northwestern point of uh, New Jersey connecting to the edge of New York. If you're willing to spend a little money after buying a stock factory $2,000 bike with all the upgrades now it's worth almost 5000 if not maybe a little more than that. So let's put it through a test. Right here I had a flat tire like a month ago, no two months ago in this section but today right now no flat tire. After this it's gonna be full blown downhill so if you guys want to see the best part in a couple in 30 seconds, matter of fact, hold on, let's kick her. Dropping, that was sick. Okay, and I got a booster here coming up. Uh, let's go, booster. Whoa, nice, made it. No problem this time. So after this little section, it's gonna be a very fast downhill. Dropping, making it. Uh, Put back to number gear 12. The official downhill starts somewhere over here. After we cut this little punchy climb, it's gonna be a sick down. Hey, I'm gonna pass you guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot, just me. Oh, I touched the lock with my with my shoes a little bit, but didn't get hurt. The downhills, the easy part is here. It's not really easy because if you get body, you gotta be ultra aware. Don't do anything stupid, just go fast, but don't go out of control. I'm not that warmed up right now, but I'm making it. Well, dude. Don't want to get bodied. I have no elbow pads. I don't have knee pads either right now. Just a helmet. So, definitely trying to be ultra aware and not try to do anything stupid right away on my first descent of the day. Nice kicker. Be careful. Rock, rock. Yeah, that's a good point to brake check. You don't really want to get bodied. I almost got body the other day over there. Keep up the pace. We may need to bunny hop some section over here coming up. Drop it. I don't want to get a pedal strike too. 175 cranks. A little bit too long. Should have got the 170. 165 would have been better, but here bunny hop. Drop it! Oh god! That was rough because I Landed in the wrong spot. 
175 cranks is a bit too long 165 I should have got but I don't know if Eagle has 165 I gotta get custom cranks dropping whoa that was good oh god oh ah, let's cool it down by a slow steady climb fire road about 25 minutes to 20 minutes depends how fast you are and after that we descend the second downhill average between 5 to 10 minutes depends on how fast you are if we're one of the fastest guys in the world it's gonna take you about five minutes if you're like an average dude from eight to ten minutes but you know it's a long downhill when it takes about more than five minutes to just go down 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 you know all the downhills you see guys it's mainly 30 seconds to two minutes maybe here a record dropping nice worms dropping Dropping, dropping. 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 Don't pedal clip. Don't get pedal clipped. Drop him. Whoa. Let's go. Stupid bushes. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. I almost got clipped. Wow, got saved. Oh. oh, God. I need to tighten my hip pack because it's hanging on the lower part of my part of my back and it's hurting my back a lot. My back, my bag hurting my back. So here we go into the nature. The beautiful view of the reservoir. Let's go. Oh, God. See, not another goddamn stuff. Let's go, let's go. I miss those kickers. Oh, watch out for the rock. I don't want to get body right there. Oh, this is longer than on videos oh this is so fun though yo 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 that's so good oh god yeah get that momentum boys
dropping. 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 Take it easy here. Yeah. Let's regroup. I think I sent it the hardest that I ever sent it on that section. Up for this rock. A few more drops coming up. Drop them. Drop them. Oh. Oh. That was sick. Oh. Oh, okay. Yo! Whoa! Oh god! Ah, uh, boys, so this bike is fire.